Governor Mark Dayton's proposed $1.5 billion bonding bill does not include funding for a new veterans home in Bemidji. Uh, Josh Peterson tonight shows us how a presentation today to the Senate Capital Investment Committee in Bemidji hopes to get the project included in the bill. Services delayed are services denied. That message resonated through a packed room filled with local vets, community leaders, and government officials. The message was mainly for members of the Senate Capital Investments Committee who are touring the area ahead of the 2018 legislative session. For those fighting to bring a veterans home to Bemidji, this is an important step. Many of our legislators have heard this same message, but it's important to reiterate that message over time. But after the announcement yesterday of Governor Mark Dayton's proposed $1.5 billion bonding budget, some in the room were frustrated that Bemidji's veterans home was not included in the governor's bonding plan. Supremely surprised by the response by the governor or the governor's spokesman about that because we've been working it for 10 years. The governor knows the need for a new veterans home in the state of Minnesota. The governor's office says that there's no proposed veterans home in the governor's budget because of no official location selected. When in fact, property here at Sanford Health has already been chosen as the designated location. With other communities working to get a veterans home, the governor's office said the legislature needs to agree on which community they would like to choose as the site for the facility before the project can move forward. Yeah, I think the key is, is yeah, is the legislature as a policy body, body needs to decide where they think the, the next best location for veterans homes is. In a room filled with passion for the cause, many echoed that Bemidji is the ideal location for the veterans home. Our community, I think, uh, is just unique in our ability to come together and solve problems and find a solution to, to the kinds of issues that, that we are faced with. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The governor's office did tell us that if the legislature agreed on a specific location, a new veterans home could be added to the governor's bonding bill. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.